Hello, Dark Kitties. I'm Kari, the Vacuum Chip Witch, for the first time in this year, and presenting you with the Red Devil Amp that I just built. And it's time to put it together. I will also go through all the circuits of this amplifier, telling you how it all works. Because uh, it might be a uh, simple single-ended uh, EL84 amplifier, but uh, there's something more to it that might be quite interesting because uh, it, uh, it connects the um, old-school uh, vacuum tube electronics with modern electronics like um, a Bluetooth receiver module or remote control for the, the volume and uh, input switching. Gonna take you on a tour. Let's get to the vent. So, we've got this little amplifier right here. That's how it looks like. And uh, this is the main chassis where uh, all the audio, uh, audio cir circuitry the, in the amplifier circuit is uh, to ECC88 or E88CC or 6DJ8 or 6922 tubes for the input stages and to EL84 output pendouts pretty popular for hi-fi amplifiers and also guitar amplifiers like you see, it's all done in, in the old style points to point method. I don't really like uh, printed circuit boards um, for tube circuits. I'd rather do things the old school way. Same for the guitar amplifiers that I built. Makes me think that uh, I will have to show you the Matt Bermin amp, the, the most complex guitar amplifier, but uh, it's, uh, it's not really the, the thing I'm gonna talk about today, because today I'm gonna talk about the Little Red Devil, the inspiration for the name is partly from uh, Artur Żurawski, an amp builder from Poland, uh, also known as uh, Painlust, and he called uh, his manufacturer Red Devil Man. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, I'm not really copying any of his design. This is from the grounds up uh, my own. It, uh, from the from the start uh, to an end I will tell you about the signal flow. Right now it's discombobulated. Uh, I will put it together after I uh, tell you what's happening on those boards. Let's get a better view on this one. So looking at the back panel. Looking at the back panel, we've got uh, a pair of uh, RCA input jacks. Then we've got uh, binding posts for the outputs. Of course it is handmade with love, like all of my amps. And we've got um, the power input. And it looks like 
And then the fire is coming off. So from the input jacks, uh, we've got two wires going to the relay that switches between the RCA jacks and a Bluetooth module installed here. And the, the contact uh, of the relay goes to the potentiometer like you would expect on an amplifier then the, the signal comes into the then the terminal strip and then it goes uh, to the grids of uh, the input triodes those are double triodes with uh, both parts uh, connected uh, in parallel with uh, separate uh, grid stopper resistors and separate uh, cathode resistors with, uh, with one uh, common part uh, on the cathode resistors uh, this is uh, 150 ohms uh, those two are 330 I left it uh, this way because uh, I was considering using global feedback on this amplifier but uh, after after save some thought uh, I decided uh, not to do that let's uh, leave the amp uh, without the global uh, negative feedback so for the for the plates uh, there's a common uh, resistor 22 kilo ohms and then uh, the 0 0.1 uh, microfarad uh, capacitor very old style uh, it's a uh, paper in oil cap done uh, made in poland uh, at miflex yeah this is uh, the same miflex that uh, skunky designs uh, likes to use and uh, i really appreciate her for that and uh, those are set to sound sound uh, quite well as well as were the paper and oil caps then after the cap uh, we've got uh, 470 kilo ohm uh, grid leak resistor and uh, a uh, one kilo ohm uh, grid stopper to the um, control grid of the EL84 the cathode resistor on this one is uh, 180 ohms bypassed with a um, 330 microfarad uh, electrolytic capacitor some new old stock from Philips an extra one uh, pretty nice and uh, 180 it's a uh, it's a uh, good uh, operating point for an uh, class a amplifier because uh, given that uh, this is a uh, single-ended uh, design it must be class a because otherwise it would be useless for listening to audio the 470 ohms uh, 2 watts resistor in line with the screen grid uh, goes to a center tap on uh, the output transformer so this is the ultra linear single ended uh, design and mind me when i tested it yesterday uh, when i listened to it it sounded really nice I, uh, I connected it uh, with the speakers above the bench uh, tested the thing and I was very nicely surprised 
so um, the amplifier part uh, we've uh, we've covered um, the amplifier part um, the signal path of course uh, the the secondary windings of those transformers uh, go to the binding posts and uh, then the common uh, the ground uh, binding posts are connected together and uh, connected with the central ground point um, that is here and uh, on this part uh, we've got um, the low pass filters uh, for the B plus uh, voltage uh, looking at the schematic <coughs> then the 4k7 uh, separate for each one of those uh, I, I seem to have made an error in in this one easily con easily corrected an error in the schematic it is uh, easily corrected This resistor was missing from the schematic. <laughs> oh, Carrie, would you please stop making those stupid mistakes again? Anyway, the B plus goes through a 10 ohms uh, ceramic resistor to the 100 microfarad uh, electrolytic cap bypassed with a 150 kilo ohms resistor because uh, this bleeds off um, the voltage uh, after you turn off um, the amplifier making sure that um, the electrolytic cap uh, has a chance to discharge uh, if the tubes are cold and then uh, the input stage that I covered first, uh, the power stage and, and the transformer. Simple as this ca it can be. And now the more interesting part it is uh, the control circuitry it uses a uh, 80 tiny 45 uh, microcontroller unit a uh, L293D motor driver this is uh, a double uh, H bridge where I uh, connected um, both halves uh, together the infrared sensor that uh, feeds into the microcontroller the output uh, of uh, of the microcontroller one of the outputs uh, goes to the relay switching circuit this relay uh, transfers the in the input of the amplifier to the Bluetooth module and also uh, using this MOSFET uh, transistor it uh, turns on the power for the Bluetooth module so that uh, when, uh, when using the RCI input jacks uh, the output then the power to the Bluetooth module is, uh, is cut off and uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't uh, connect with uh, the audio source so as to prevent uh, getting confused uh, like uh, having a uh, signal sync that um, doesn't really go uh, anywhere anywhere to, um, to the speakers uh, so only if the, the module uh, 
is uh, put into um, the action uh, when the amplifier is switched over to the Bluetooth module, it will get power and uh, it will be visible if you scan for Bluetooth devices. So, uh, putting the amplifier part together A nut driver that drives me nuts. <laughs> Not really. Connect the motor wires. And connect the power and ground. And then we will go over to the power supply part. One thing I haven't mentioned uh, about the amplifier that it has uh, a uh, 7805 uh, voltage regulator, a linear one, for the control circuitry and the Bluetooth module. It uh, it uses uh, 250 volts uh, DC for the vacuum tubes and 12.6 uh, volts DC for the heaters, as well as the control circuitry and uh, and the Bluetooth module. With uh, tubes. Uh, with heaters uh, wired uh, in series, one string for the EL84s, the other string for the E88CCs. Uh, Let's put it back. Go over the power supply. Then the front panel of uh, of the supply with a uh, nameplate. Of course, I designed it and made it. The main uh, fuel socket, the power switch, and um, and the pilot lamp. The output power connector that uh, mates with the amplifier's uh, cord. Making it uh, a separate unit so that uh, the magnetic field uh, from the transformers doesn't uh, induce uh, any currents in the, in the amplifier itself. So what would we have uh, inside uh, the power supply? The transformers are located um, on the other side of uh, of this uh, of this plate of the of the chassis. There are actually two transformers. Let me show you the schematic. Here it is: the main switch and the, and the fuse. Then the first transformer is uh, it lowers um, the mains voltage to something like um, 10 volts. And uh, here we've got a full bit rectifier. Of course, I had to mark it uh, on the schematic like that. <laughs> the filter cap. And that a big one, <laughs> the payload lamp here, and uh, a pair of wires to the output socket. And then there's uh, 
a step up transformer something like uh, 12 or 15 volts uh, to 230 another full bit rectifier 150 microfarad uh, filter cap a pi fighter with um, a uh, hyper resistor and the 330 microfarad here this is the resistor and of course i forgot about one more resistor <laughs> forgot about mentioning this one hundred fifty kilo ohms also the bleeder resistor making sure that um, the voltage on uh, those capacitors that's de facto 480 microfarads uh, at uh, at something around uh, 250 volts quite a lot of power stored in them so uh, if you put your hands into the power supply while those cups are not discharged yet you're in for a nasty shock i didn't have one <laughs> not in order in order to guard uh, myself or anyone who will be working on this amp uh, in the future of course i included it and there are some uh, chaotic scribblings uh, on uh, the amplifier on the power supply chassis and uh, and also <laughs> some quotes <laughs> showing that i am a stargate fan yeah i think this might be the nerdiest amp uh, i have built to date Let's find the bolt uh, to attach uh, the plate to the power supply. Oh, come on, where was it? Why are things getting lost uh, in the least appropriate moment? Oh, here it is. So yeah, they carry the vacuum chip with, and of course any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. <laughs> Putting the lid back. Nice and snug. And it is time to put the cover back on the amplifier. This box uh, is plastic. I painted it all with uh, spray paint and then some uh, clear varnish. Using some extra care to get the foil on the back panel to get into the groove.
And I will now have to look for the conical head uh, screws. Those teeny tiny pesky little buggers. You go in. And the tubes go in. And its loveliness increases. It will never pass into nothingness. The Little Red Devil from Character Electronics. <laughs>